In my last video, we went over some Photoshop basics. Um, so this video series is really made for people that are brand new to Photoshop. Um, in the last video, we talked about the layers panel. We talked about using your brushes, adjustment layers, things like that. Today, we're going to go over something a little more advanced called layer mask. Now, what we're going to do is we are actually going to make an art piece that uses a lot of layer masks. Now to create this art piece, our goal is to create a piece inspired by David Hockney. So I just pulled up some examples of his work here, but he's really known for a lot of these super cool uh, photography collages, right? Where he'll take different snippets, sometimes they're like from Polaroids, um, and cuts them out and pieces them together. We're going to be doing this digitally with Photoshop. Um, so definitely you know, feel free to explore some of his work on your own time, but I think this kind of gives you the gist of the style we're going for. So again, stuff that's very experimentive, um, cut up pictures to create some interesting compositions. All right, so what I did to kick things off was I just imported three photos that I took uh, over at Blue Gardens of some of the bees that were there. Um, so I've got three, three pictures here. This guy's left over from my old video, so I'll close that out. And what I'm going to do is I need to get all three of these pictures into the same artboard. So I'm going to use this as kind of my starting point. All right. And I'm going to go over to my next image. I'm going to, um, it's telling me that's a background layer. So I'll just go ahead and convert it to a normal layer. And then I'm going to click and drag it over into my main board here and then i'm gonna do the same thing over here um, this time i'm going to click the little lock to unlock this layer first and then click and drag but yeah if i didn't click that lock first um, it would have given me that that message that it gave me last time asking me if i want to convert it so either way works you could either just drag or again click on the lock first all right so now i have my three pictures that I'm using. Now you do not have to use three pictures, right? Um, like we saw in some of Hockney's work there, some of his images are just one picture that's kind of sliced up. So let's start with that. Um, so I'm going to take this background layer and duplicate it just like I talked about in the last video, just in case we mess up. And one thing I could do here is I could just kind of select a portion, copy it, before I copy it though, let me talk about how I selected it. This tool here is our marquee tool. Again, if you click and drag, you'll see some of these different nested options. I'm choosing rectangle. So then again, I clicked and dragged to make my selection. Now I'm gonna copy with Command C and then paste with Command V. And with that, I now have this kind of sliced piece. This is already looking kind of cool. Um, so then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select that layer slightly below it. Maybe this time I grab like a petal, um, copy and paste. All right. And then maybe we layer this one. So this is a really good way for us to kind of play with these different layers. Um, so I'm going to revisit this pretty soon. Um, before I do that though, I want to show you guys masking. So masking is a more advanced technique. Um, but once you master it, it's really easy to use. Um, so masking basically will hide and reveal parts of our image. So with my layer selected, I can apply a layer mask by clicking right down here on this little layer mask icon. All right. Once that's selected, this little thumbnail, uh, excuse me, thumbnail here represents our layer mask. Black hides white reveals because the whole mask there is white. The whole thing is showing. All right. So this whole image. Now, if I paint black, we've got our colors here. If I paint black on this uh, this mask, it's going to hide parts of our image. So again, I'm going to my brush tool, painting black, and we can start to reveal that floral layer underneath. Now, if I mess up, I can just switch to white because again, white reveals right, and paint white back over that and it is showing. So that is a good example of non-destructive editing because I can always just paint white or black over top of it to uh, kind of revert it to how I wanted it um, or to revert it to how it was before. So I'm using a shortcut here. I'm using X. X is the quick way to do it, but you can also click on these little arrows to swap between your foreground and background color. If for any reason you have a different color selected, you can always just go to this little icon here 
and that will default it to black and white. Um, cool, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill that with white. Now this time, I'm going to use a mask to hide parts of my layer here. Um, so to do that, you can probably guess it, I'm going to fill it with black. All right, so there's a few ways to do this. I can go to my paint bucket tool, this little, looks like a paint bucket, pretty easy to guess there, and then I can click. Now, it's not letting me click because this is the selection. So I can only apply that to the selected area. So I'm gonna invert this. I'm hitting Command Shift I on my keyboard, but the long way to do that would have been select inverse, somewhere in here. Select inverse, there it is, select inverse. Yeah, Command Shift I or Control Shift I if you are on a PC. All right, so this is kind of cool. So I have my mask here. Let's say I want to mask in some other parts. I'm just making a selection, and then again, I'm filling it with white. So I'm using a shortcut here, but you know, you can pick and choose if you wanna do that or not. So this is another cool way to kind of start to mix some of these images. Now, I have this image that's very green, um, but I feel like it's kind of clashing a little bit. So I think I'm going to use this image instead. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select that layer. I'm gonna apply a mask here. I'm gonna fill that mask uh, with black. All right, and then again, I'm just gonna make selections and fill it with white. So this is pretty cool. It's a little bit trippy here with the different flowers, but this is, a, this is looking like a really interesting art piece already. Now, uh, something else that I can do to keep adding on to this is we have the option to add different effects to each of these cutout layers. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to select the layer, so not the mask, I have the actual layer selected, and I want to copy this B here, okay? So I'm hitting Command C, Command V again, and then you can see I have this, maybe you can't, I have this as my selection. Now if I right click on this layer, I can go to blending options. And blending options is going to give me a lot of really cool effects. One thing that I'm going to apply is something called a drop shadow. So I don't want that to be so spread out. I want it to be kind of close so it really like draws attention to this bee. Um, yeah, again, a little bit closer. Maybe we push it out a little bit further. I can change the angle of it. I kind of want it on this side because it almost looks like there's like light beams coming from this direction. So I'm gonna angle it a little more. Yeah, that's looking really cool. Um, I can change the color of this if I wanted to, but I think I'm gonna keep it like that. And look at how that kind of sets it apart, right? With just that, uh, that drop shadow applied. So let's do that again. Um, we're gonna go to this layer this time, right click choose blending options. Um, maybe I want to do a stroke. That looks crazy. But you know, again, there's a lot of options here. Maybe you want to do some uh, bevel and embossing, right? Making it look like it has a little more dimension to it. It's really up to you. You can get super creative with these different options. Um, again, I'm not going to go through all of these uh, because of time constraints, but plus I just don't want to bore you all. I want you to really be able to experiment with this on your own time. So right now I'm playing with this kind of outer glow. Um, I'm gonna sample some different colors. I actually kind of like that blue. Um, I want kind of like a blue green to kind of match this tone back here. That's looking nice. And then again, I'm gonna play with some of these sliders here to kind of change how intense that uh, spread is there. Yeah, so that's looking pretty cool. Um, so I know this was kind of a really quick demo, um, but I did just want to introduce you guys to how you can use mask. And this is just one way of using masking. So we'll talk more about other ways that this can be used in the next video. Um, but for now, go out and create your own Hockney inspired piece. So grab a photo or multiple photos. Uh, so use your selection tool to make 
some selections of different parts, copy paste, maybe use your masking tool to isolate different parts, apply some blending uh, options to it to kind of emphasize it or offset it. Um, you can really get creative and have fun and I really hope you do so. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.